This tiny box has all the parts for a fully functional two-cylinder four-stroke engine. And today, I'm going to build it. I've got to give a big thank you to Vortrexy for sending out this motor to me and hopefully be able to integrate it into one of my RC car chassis. Hey guys, I'm Cam and welcome back to Shredcraft RC. Today, we're gonna to be building this tiny four-stroke engine and I'm gonna show you guys what comes in the box. So I've got to give a big thank you and shout out to Vortrexy. They not only sent me the engine kit, they also sent along all the other components necessary to have this motor run on gasoline rather than typically these engines would run on a nitro fuel. With that, the box also included a magnetic flywheel, tiny little spark plugs, and an engine stand to get everything set up along with the CDI box and all the components needed to run on gasoline. So first, let's take a look at what's inside this box. These are known as the Toyan LF200 engines. So it is a two cylinder inline four stroke engine. And as you can see, we have the user manual right on top. And then this will have a QR code to scan in order to get the full assembly instructions. We have a little toolkit, some gaskets. There was also a set of M2 screws here and then let's lay everything out. So it looks like we have our valve cover here, our flywheel, the rear crank, cam gears, bearings, looks like we have a little set of lifters, rockers, and some other components there. And then here we have the cylinders, Pretty cool seeing all this stuff down at a miniature scale. Here's the tiny crankshaft. The cylinder head. Looks like the valves are already installed there. This would be the starter motor. So this is just a little brushed motor to engage the starter. And then here we have some tiny little pistons. Look at those. little carburetor some belts so along with the motor kit they also included this engine stand which has a CDI box and the tiny wires for the miniature spark plugs there's also another flywheel with a magnet on it to tell the CDI box when to fire the spark. We have a little bit of fuel hose here. The smallest gas tank I ever did see. And then some other components for assembling all of this including some miniature spark plugs, some of the wires, and mounts to hold the fuel cell onto this engine stand. So what I'm gonna do is pull the instructions up here and we will begin assembling this engine.
Well, as you guys can see, I've had some difficulty starting the engine and I'm not quite sure what it is. In order to get this video out on time, I figured I would just run this outro. As I figure out more of the workings and getting this thing running, I'll do a future video and update and then see if I can adapt this to one of the chassis or something like that. But it's gonna take a lot more time and a lot more tinkering to try and figure out kind of the specifics of why it's not running or why I can't get it to kick over. If you could tell in some of those shots, there was a few instances where it wanted to kick over and it almost sounded like it was about to go. I tried endless carb tuning and pulling the spark plugs out and drying them out. I think it might have something to do with this being the gasoline conversion rather than the nitro conversion. I know I'm getting spark and I know that timing and all of that is correct. However, there's something off possibly with the premix of the fuel or the tuning of the carburetor and me being at altitude that the air fuel ratio is just not quite right. I'm gonna dig further into this motor and figure out if I can get it running properly. So. That will be coming in a future episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed the build video and checking out the inner workings of this tiny Toyan LF200 motor. To me, this is really interesting to see how they machine all these tiny components and are able to get them to work in this tiny little engine. I tried to make that like an artistic build video and get some cool shots of the assembly process and all those tiny components going together to build this little engine. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. So I know it's been a little while since the last video and it's probably going to be that way, pushing back the upload schedule from weekly to one a month or something like that. And if you guys haven't already, be sure to check out all the RC Drift tuning videos if that's why you've landed on this channel. And then make sure you stay tuned for more tiny engine videos coming in the future. There's also a few other projects in the works in the background that I can't quite talk about yet, but a cool new product on the horizon that I'll be featuring here on Shredcraft RC. So thanks for watching. Make sure you come back and check out more awesome RC content from Shredcraft RC. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.